Happy Friday, I'm Trace, and thanks for watching this week in Discovery News. As you can see, I'm not actually at the Discovery Building. I'm here on Mackinac Island, which is in between Michigan's upper and lower peninsulas. I used to live and work here, so I came back to visit and for a wedding. Here on Mackinac Island, there's a fort. It's called Fort Mackinac, and it was built in 1780 during the American Revolution by the British Army. This week, we're still going to do our three stories, but I'm going to do them pretty fast, so pay attention. Our first story is... Stephen Hawking loses the Higgs bet. This week, Stephen Hawking lost a bet. In fact, he lost $100 to Gordon Hawk of the University of Michigan. The reason he lost the money is because he bet Gordon that you would never find a Higgs boson. As it turns out, he wasn't right yet, but he wasn't wrong either. They found something so similar that Stephen Hawking conceded and is going to give him $100. How do you make a bet with Stephen Hawking? Hey, Hawk! I bet you a hundred bucks there ain't no Higgs boson. It's a bet you're on. <laughs> now, Gordon, don't go spending it all in one place. Or time. Because it's physics. <laughs> Playing space-time, right? Read more about this at discoverynews.com slash bettheHawk. Now, the next story is also in Earth-like Saturn moon has liquid ocean. Saturn's moon Titan has liquid water under its surface. How do we know? because the moon changes shape. The Cassini spacecraft has hundreds of hundreds of pictures of the moon Titan. And underneath the crust, there must be water because gravity is acting on the planet, causing it to squeeze and contract. Now, they don't know what is in this water, but if there's heat and it's touching minerals, there may be a formula for life. So we'll have to keep an eye on this one. Read more about it at discoverynews.com slash titanocean. Our third story this week also has to do with oceans, so this was a nice progression. The third story of the week is, the NOAA denies the existence of mermaids. Yes, this is a real story, and in fact, I think we may have to take a little bit of the blame for this one. Animal Planet produced a television show about mermaids, and there must have been so many people writing them to ask if they exist, that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration decided to put out a press release saying that they don't exist. Yeah, it's a real thing, and I know you're disappointed, I'm also disappointed, and I think we're just going to all have to move on. To get more information, visit discoverynews.com slash no mermaids. That's it for me. Thanks for watching this week in Discovery News. Make sure that if you want more of our coverage, you like us on Facebook, you follow us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. You can also subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter. Subscriptions, options, and all of that is at discoverynews.com. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Friday. Also, if you want to know more about Fort Mackinac, visit MackinawParks.com. And again, I highly recommend a visit. Look at this! <laughs>